We hope to follow every ball along the way with you. And again, let us reiterate our congratulations to you. Um, I am, of course, an Aero Ogman, don't lose sight of that. And, but I don't begrudge you your victory. You earned it, and it was well done. And I'm sure that there are places you have to call to now, not least in the chapel in Kilmele. Bye bye. <laughs> Good evening and welcome back to Cusick Park for this the eagerly awaited replayed semi-final of the County Senior Hurling Championship between Holder's Six Mile Bridge and the surprise package of the year Kilmele. John Brett referee in readiness in the middle of the field, two teams pucking about. We were here already today for the semi-final of the football championship in which St. Brecken's had a rather facile victory over Clare Castle, whom you know are more renowned for their exploits in the hurling field. Now, in true traditional GAA style, as we've just celebrated the Angelus, referee calls the captains together. Pat Morey from Six Mile Bridge shakes hands with PJ Kennedy, the Kilmele custodian, who might be scarce on top, but isn't lacking in any other department. Good plucky goalkeeper, the bridge won the toss, have elected to play with the elements in the first half. They're playing with the breeze in the first half. Earlier today, St. Brecken's won the toss in the football and promptly elected to play against the breeze. They turned over at half time in the lead and uh, they led from indeed the start. The lead they never subsequently relinquished and they had an easy win in the end. We played semi final, should be underway. The roar of the crowd goes up in anticipation. And now John Brett throws the ball in and the game is on. Stalemate there, broken up by Flan Quilligan, sets up a bridge attack. Goes to Tommy Morey, or not to Tommy Morey, to the left half forward. That's John Chaplin and he sends it to the right and wide. Although while it's numbered, the number 12 that I have here is John Chaplin. That looked very like Seamus Cusack with the right below the left. However, puck out down into the bridge half of the field. Well picked up by Martin Curry. He's tackled there. Well tackled by Shamie Fitz who gets the ball along the ground. Into left corner forward Martin Meehan. Strange surrounds for the inter-county player. Gets the ball in where John Z. Mungavan picks it up and then leaves it for his right half forward. That's Michal Murphy. His attempted puck is blocked down. And then coming out with the ball is Nolo Gorman. He turns in field and right-handed, gets the ball into the middle of the field. Tommy Keane comes down for it, misses it. It breaks to Shamey Cusick. He right-handed, sends a good ball into the parallelogram. PJ Kennedy watches it go to the left and wide. That's two wides for Six Mile Bridge. The game is a minute and a half old. No score on, on either, for either side. PJ Kennedy once again prepares to take the puck out. He's dressed all in white. Pucks it now, a good one against the breeze, up into the middle. Eugene McMahon is under it, puts up his hand for it, doesn't hold on to it. Pat Morey comes in and beats him. And then the bridge man gets it up in his hand and left-handed sends a ball down to the right corner. Too strong, I think. Yes, gone to the right and wide. That's the third wide for the bridge. In a game that's two minutes old. A good crowd here and the people still coming in. The far side of the field has a fair sprinkling of people and as I said they're still coming in there and down under me it's absolutely chocker block as PJ Kennedy once again takes the puck out this side of the field Martin Cahill one-handed gets it from Flan Quilligan but Quilligan retrieves it very near the ground and so is Flan he pokes it on a little bit Seamus Cusack doubles on it coming out for it is full forward that's Michael Quayne. He gets it in now. Danger here for Kilmelis. The ball goes into Jerry McInerney, but falling back is Tommy Keane. And Eamon Healy comes across. And then the ball is deflected over the bar. There's the opening score of the game. A point for Six Mile Bridge. Scored by their right foot forward, Eamon Healy. Or, and it may well have been John Chaplin. John Chaplin was over there as well, foraging. It's either John Chaplin or Eamon Healy. However, after three minutes play, the bridge lead. A point to no score. PJ Kennedy tries the far side of the field. The bridge seemed to be on top in the early exchanges at midfield. Pat Morey with the ball goes out between Michal Murphy and Eugene McMahon. The ball breaks down in there now, where the number four for Kilmele goes across for it. That's Paddy Hill. He's a judge to have fouled 
over there and there's a three to six mile bridge. A three to six mile bridge to be taken, strangely enough, by Seamus Cusack. I thought it would be Jerry McInerney would be taking these. Cusack sends it and there's the... S no, it's gone to the left and wide. Gone to the left and wide, a pint for six mile bridge, no score for Kilmele. Three and a half minutes gone in the first half. PJ Kennedy about to try this side of the field. He pucks it now. Down into the middle. Martin Cahill and Flynn Quilligan. Cahill puts up his hand for it. Fails to hold on to it. John Chaplin comes in in a clash there. The ball breaks to Tommy Morey. Playing at centre forward. He's on Tommy Keane and there should be a bit of skelter there. The ball breaks out. Where Niall Romer gets it out a little bit. Seamus Cusick, an intended pass there that doesn't go where he intended. He intended it for Pat Morey. It didn't reach him. Jerry Pine gets it along the ground. Nola Gorman beats John Z. Mungovan. The ball breaks out there to right half forward. That's Michal Murphy sends in a good ball, dropping in the square. Oh, and there's a missed opportunity as Martin Curry, very wily this fella, is tussling in there, then gets the ball up on his stick and left-handed affects a good clearance, but only out as far as Martin Cahill. He blocks it down, gets it on a little bit, and then flicks it in front of Flan Quilligan. In as far as the centre half forward, that's Jerry Pine. He sends a good right-handed cross. Pat Collins comes out to it. He's been attended all there by Shamie Fitzpatrick. He shakes off the attention and then gets a good clearance down the far side. Seamus Cusick off his hurley and then Niall Romer affects a great clearance along the ground. There are two bridgemen there. One of them is Denny Chaplin at New Surrounds at centre back. Tommy Kane and Tommy Morey. It breaks out to Pat Morey. He gets it cross field. Not much ground gained. But then John Chaplin adds to it. Only as far as Tommy Keane. He's tackled by Tommy Morey. And there's the clash of the ash that I mentioned. As Tommy Keane gets it away. Up between Michal Murphy and John Brennan. The bridgeman gets it out in front of him. And then Michal Murphy is adjudged to have pushed him in the back by referee John Brett. A three to six mile bridge. Five minutes and 12 seconds gone in an opening half that's lively enough as Seamus Cusick from just inside the Kilmele half of the field prepares to take this one right-handed. It looks like a tail on a Jess to the right and wide. A point to no score. And Kilmele by no means overawed. They faded in the last quarter of the drawn game when they had Six Mile Bridge absolutely on the rack. The bridge come here this evening quite prepared for this. This was a shock to them. They were entitled, I suppose, to feel a little overconfident. But by God, Kilmele dispelled any notions of a walk over in the drawn game. Ball pucked out. Breaks to John Brennan. He gets it up in his hand as he's attempted clearance hooked and the ball breaks into Martin Cahill. A good centre fielder, this guy. He gets it along the ground. Up between Shamie Fitzpatrick and left full back. John O'Connell. Strange so, uh, sighting for him as well. But now O'Connell puts the ball in his stick. He's made a good 50 yards. Gets the ball infield. Intended for Seamus Cusick. Niall Romer cuts it off at the expense of a line ball to Six Mile Bridge. Practically in the midfield. Just in the Kilmele half of it, Pat Morey, their midfielder of great experience, about to take this one. He cuts it. Niall Romer blocks it partially. And then Tommy Kane blocks Tommy Morey's atten attempted puck and then watches the ball as it trickles out over the sideline. A line ball to Kilmele to be taken by right half back Niall Romer. He's wearing the number seven. He's operating at left half at right half back. He cuts it. Left handed. Not a very good one. Near the sideline. Kept in play there. By Seamus Cusick. He gets it back to John Brennan. He's going back towards his own goal. Then leaves it for John O'Connell. He a good ground ball. Niall Romer cuts it out. Gets it up in his hand. Good hurler this fella. And left handed effects a good clearance. Down over it is well caught in the air by Martin Meehan and a very crafty ball onto the number 12 for Kilmele. That's Jerry Kennedy. He has acres of space here. He looks goalwards and then sends a high ball to the right and wide. There's an opportunity gone a begging. Shami Fitzpatrick was unmarked. 12 yards out from goal. Kennedy should and could have made better use of that, but as easy used them from up here. A pint to no score. Seven minutes and 30 seconds gone in a first half that's quietly entertaining as the bridge lead by the solitary score of, score of this half, a pint. Puck out by Pat Collins. A good one. Down between Flan Quilligan and Martin Cahill. Breaks between them. Little bit of holding there, went unpenalised. As Cahill gets that ball in, but Quilligan grabs it. 
He passes the Dahos good work there by Quilligan. Gets it into John Chaplin, who pulls rather carelessly on the Kilmaley number five. Again, no action taken by the referee. That is bad refereeing. As Eugene McMahon gets the ball along the ground, it beats Nolo Gorman and, and um, John Z. Mungivan. Nolo Gorman fiddles with it, and then Mungivan gets it in. Martin Meehan is there. Martin Meehan comes out for it, gets it up on his stick, looks goalwards, and then sends the ball high, but to the right and wide. That's another opportunity gone a begging for Kilmaley. And in the early stages, the bridge backline is anything but steady. A little bit of niggling down here under me with John Chaplin and Pat Keane from Kilmaley. And uh, as I say, the referee should have taken action there. A rather wild pull by John Chaplin. Pat Collins once again with the puck out down the middle between Flan Quilligan blocks it down to Pat Morey. He gets it, scoops it along the ground, but Martin Cahill is in there. Morey still scoops it along. Has his pat blocked now by Tommy Keane. Tommy trying to fight his way out. Hen passes the ball out to his brother Pat. He misses the connection, but gets it along the ground, near the sideline, over it. A line ball for Six Mile Bridge. This line ball to be taken by Martin Curry. The right half-back cuts it in field to Pat Morey, a well-directed line ball. Pat Morey has been attended by Eugene McMahon, who sticks with him well, but Morey gets the ball up in his hand, and then, despite the attentions of Jerry Pine, gets a good ball down. Blocked out by Mick Quayne, he goes out after, gets it up in his stick. He's out near the sideline, turns in field, well policed there. As the ball goes to Tommy Keane, he's fouled by Tommy Morey, a free out. Noel McGuan did well there. And there's a... A tug of war in there between Jerry McInerney and uh, somebody else. The goalkeeper PJ Kennedy pulls them aside. The referee is going in to have a word with the umpires. An off the ball incident there, and it would be a pity if this game deteriorated into a slogging match like that. Yes, the ref referee John Brett having a word, word with Matty Darcy and Jerry McInerney. Jerry McInerney is the man that's been spoken to first, and now Matty Darcy. I didn't see the origin of that chamazel. He's pointing to the line. He's pointing to the line. I don't think he's sending them off, but he's, he's suggesting very sternly to them that a repeat performance and they will go off. He's marching them. He has marched them both. So that's a pity. That's a pity after ten and a half minutes of play. Matty Darcy from Kilmaley and Jerry McInerney have both been sent packing. Jerry McInerney slow to leave the field of play and that indeed is something that the game could well have done without. And now the respective supporters get behind both teams as Tommy Keane resumes play with a free. Down here, Martin Cal and Flan Quilligan go for it. Quilligan gets it and left-handed sends a good-looking ball. That's a great ball. Drops in. Pat, Paddy Hill put up his hand for it. It went off it out over the end line, a 65 to six mile bridge. A 65 to six mile bridge, 11 and a half minutes gone. In the first half, that strangely enough, sees only one score and that a point for six mile bridge to holders. Taken by Seamus Cusick to 65 and sent high straight over the bar. That's the second point of the game for Six Mile Bridge. They lead two points to no score for Kilmaley. And now, with the corner back and corner forward gone out there, it'll be a question of whether the two Kilmaley full backs or the two bridge full forwards have the more speed. Ball out there, Nile Romer puts up his hand for it, fails to connect, and then a clash ball with himself and Seamus Cusick. Ball goes out over the sideline, I would say a classic example of a throw-in. Linesman agrees, he's standing over there with his flag raised, going to throw it in, the referee has to go over for this religious thing of bringing back the two players, a clash. Shami Cusick wins it and sends the ball high up on the roof of the stand, a line ball for Kilmaley, not far from where the throw-in occurred. Play will resume with a line ball for Kilmaley when that ball rolls from the stand, whether it rolls down the front or the back, whether it's ever returned, I don't know. But there is a delay that would suggest that a new ball is required. Now, ball restored. Nile Romer 
to take this sideline cut for Kilmele. They trail by two points. They have yet to open their account. Left-handed, he cuts it. A good one. Blocked down by Pat Morey. He goes back for it and then affects a good attacking ball into Eamon Healy. He lets it run through to John Chaplin. He gets the ball despite the attentions of Pat Keane and then he's penalised there for what I don't know. The referee is indicating that it is um, for going too many steps with the ball in his hand. There seems to have been a bit of dissent which he's penalising against. So now the free is from a few yards further out. Tommy Keane to take it. Tommy lifts it and right-handed sets up a Kilmele attack. Pulled on by Martin Curry. Eugene McMahon gets it in a little bit to Jerry Kennedy. He doubles on it and sends it fractionally to the left and wide. Two points for the six-mile bridge. Kilmele yet to open their account. Pat Collins, the rain happily has kept away, but I wouldn't take out any insurance policy and went to rain again. Pat Collins, the puck out, but Tommy Keane puts up his hand for it, then tries to get the hopping ball. Tommy Moore is very close to him. The ball breaks now to Mick Quinn for it.